Hello, my name is DB, and welcome to All Things Brass and Technology, and I'm in DB Studios. I'm so excited to present to you today a new video of an ongoing series that I have called Donald Birdisms. Now, Donald Bird was the great jazz trumpet player. It had so many amazing, legendary records and recordings on Blue Note Records. He's played with everybody from Thelonious Monk to John Coltrane, and the list goes on. And he was my mentor. He taught me a lot of amazing things, and I want to share them with you. So, let's get it. All right, let's get right to this and stay with me because this is going to move fast, right? So this video is about how Donald taught me to practice scales. Okay, so this video is about what he showed me or how he showed me to practice scales. Okay. So a couple things up front. I'm going to be talking my key, which is trumpet, which is B flat. So for all those other instruments, piano, alto saxophone, or whatever, do your transposition. I'm talking trumpet key, which is B flat. So right off the bat, that's that. And another thing is, this was how Donald taught me to play scales. There's a million different ways to practice scales. I'm just showing you what he showed me, right? I never did it this way until he showed it to me. And so I'm gonna show it to you, okay? And um, there's four different ways and this is gonna be a four part video. I'm gonna do one at a time. So the first way I'll just tell you the four ways and then I'll make four different videos. The first way was, or the first way is to practice scales chromatically, which means half step, half step, half step, half step. Practice scales in whole tone motion. Okay. Practice scales in minor thirds, which is diminished and practice scales in major thirds, which is augmented. Those are the four ways. Half steps, whole steps, minor thirds, and major thirds. Now, all we are doing now, listen, check this out. Stay with me. All we are doing is taking the root motion of half steps, whole steps, minor thirds, and major thirds. And we're plugging in whatever scale we choose which will be major for this series, four part series. Okay, so this is part two. Donald Bird teaches me DB scales. So today we will be plugging in the major scale, the major scale into whole step motion. Whole step motion, okay? And just remember, we're going to start on F sharp, and we're talking key of B flat, so you do your transpositions, okay? All right, so we're going to start on F sharp, and we're just going to go up a whole step, so I'll tell it to you. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C, D, E, F sharp, octave, right? And the way we play the scale, first bar is eighth notes, one and two and three and four and... Second bar is two beats of eighth notes, one and two, and, and beat three and four is a half note. So it sounds like one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Okay, now I'm gonna sing it 
for you. Then I'll play it for you. And then I will play the entire exercise. Okay? So just remember, we have 12 tones in Western music. So however we divide things up, it has to equal 12. There are two whole tone scales. Each of them having six notes each. Six times two is 12. You will find one whole tone scale if you start on C and you go to the octave and you just go whole step, whole step, whole step. And then you go to C sharp to the octave. That's another six. So you have six key centers when you start on uh, C. Then you have six key centers when you start on C sharp and you're just moving in whole step motion. Six times two is 12. There's your 12 tones. All right? But just remember we're starting on F sharp. Okay, so let me sing the way I want you to play it, then I'll play trumpet, show you how I want you to play it, then I'll play the entire exercise. You know, uh, the first one will be on F sharp to F sharp, the second one will be from G to G. F sharp to F sharp, six tones, G to G will be six tones. All right. Let me sing it for you. Yes. So remember, we are in 4 4 time. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So that's how we play the scale. So now let me play you the first six tones. Right? play the first six tones and I'll include the octave so I'll go from F sharp to F sharp let's get it Now let's do the other six, starting on G. Okay, yeah, so there it is. Practicing in this way is, man, Donald is so smart. It's great, man, because you're learning the scale, which is the major scale. You're learning to play with whole step motion because sometimes songs, tunes move in that type of motion. So if you're always practicing in whole steps, when you hear harmony moving in whole steps, you're like, your ears are just like, oh yeah, I got this. You know, I know this sound. And you'll know how to navigate through it. And you're also working on technique. You know, so, you know, it's just so much bang for the buck. You know, practicing where you're really dealing with learning many things in one method. So, this is part two. Thank you for watching. Yes. And I hope you're getting some stuff out of this and I got a lot more to come. Part three and part four will be coming shortly, which will be minor thirds and major thirds. Listen. If you like the content that me, DB, brings to this channel, all things brass and technology, Please subscribe and support the channel because it is some work involved doing this stuff. But I am not afraid.
afraid of work, especially when I'm bringing it to you, my subscribers and future subscribers that I love dearly. There's nothing more beautiful than sharing one's knowledge with the world. And I'm dedicated to that. So if you like this content, please subscribe, tell some friends to come over and check it out. All things brass and technology and subscribe and support the channel. Click on the notification bell. That will let you know every time that I drop a new video. Yes, as always. Thank you for watching.